Hey, it's Suffering Student here, and today we're going to be talking about how to get Planned UML working inside IntelliJ. So, Planned UML is a plugin we can use in IntelliJ to create some basic UML diagrams. So, I will personally be using and creating quite a few of class diagrams. So, just to give you first a picture of what this actually does, it actually creates these beautiful and pretty neat diagrams, and they are created by code. Kinda. So you can actually write your diagrams directly inside um, IntelliJ. So what you need to do, so I'm um, right now I'm just in a random new program I just created. I just call it Planned UML just for fun. So you would go under Files, Settings, Plugins, and you would just have to search for Planned under Marketplace, Planned UML. It's this one. And you just click install. And then we would like to reset the ID. There we go. And now we are able to create Plant UML documents. So if you just go inside our source folder, we'll just go file. Just like usual when creating anything new, instead of just doing file new Java class, we would do file new then plant UML. And I would just call this one test and here we got the planned uml let's make it a bit bigger there we go so now we have the start of the uml we have uh, a link the web page we doesn't need that at all let's just delete all of this and just create some basic planned uml class diagrams so we can look inside the web page we link in the description by the way how to create this basic setup so what we can do is we can create, of course, create like a basic class, abstract class, um, interfaces, enums, and so on. And then we can tell it different ways to associate these different uh, classes. But I'll have another video on how actually to use class um, UML. But for now, let's just get it working. So we would just create a, a class. And we could just do anything. So right now I just do a class. Let's just create a person. And we'll give this person some information. As you can see over here, it actually just updates directly. So we would give the person a, let's think of how we would do it. So we would like to give it a string. For example, if I want to get like a string name, I would just do string name. And you can you've got the string name as an attribute. But let's see if we want to create some kind of method, for example. We'd first do type method name and parentheses to tell it it's a method. So maybe I would do just something simple like uh, return a string get name no par no parameters. And we're also able to do plus or minus to tell rather than it's public or private. So we would do our attributes private and our methods public. Let's create another class. Let's just call this class school. And then we can tell like the relationship by using arrows for example we would tell that our ghoul knows person so we would do ghoul know person then we get an error not an error an arrow and we can create different kind of arrows if we just go into the documentation and let's have a look for example we can do like um, the open arrows with a line so we do dash dash line to get an open arrow. Or we can change the direction of the arrow by actually just changing it like, like this. So it's pretty easy and it's pretty nice and we can pretty fast, or no arrow at all, just a line. So we can pretty easily create different um, directions or different uh, classes with different uh, attributes and methods and pretty easily 
create some kind of a connections and relationships. So that's the basics of how to install Plant UML, which is basically just a plugin we would install. And this is the basics of it. Leave a like and subscribe and have a wonderful day.